Hey everyone, Steve White here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to, we can create wireframe renders of our objects in Blender and how we can even create some unique looks like setting this gradient um, so the wireframe falls off um, as it gets further away from the camera. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, what we need to do is mark the edges that we want to have render. So I'm using this piston object here, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and hit A to select everything. I'm going to tap over in edit mode. And now I'm going to hit number two to be in edge mode. And then hit A to select all of the edges. And what I need to do is um, I need to have, make sure I have freestyle here enabled. Um, otherwise, this won't appear here in the menu. But I'm going to right click and I'm going to say mark freestyle edges. Okay, so now I'm going to tap back into object mode. I'm going to come down here into the... Uh, view layer properties and down at the very bottom you're going to have your free line style settings we need to make sure we have edge mark checked and um, yeah i think we'll go with that right now and see what we get so i need to set up my camera so i'm going to go into my camera mode and what i want to do here is i want to get a shot of this uh, that's sort of looking down the length of this uh, because we're going to use a distance setting here in a second and i want to use the length of this as the distance so I think something like this is good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and render. Okay, so here's what we ended up with, and that's nice. Uh, but we can um, play with this and see if we like. Now, if you don't like the thickness of those lines, we can change that here. Come here under the thickness, and we'll say we'll set this to two. And we'll try to render this again and see what we come up with. Okay, so now we have a little bit finer line here, so that's nice. Uh, now we can also change the color of the line. So if I come here into the color tab, we can set a color. And I'll just set this to, like, say, a nice green, blue, or something like that. And then we'll render again. Okay, so now we have this blue-green wire. Now, what if we wanted to sort of fade this off so it, there's no you know, wire up here up front and it sort of fades into the wireframe toward the back? Well, for that, we can use the alpha here. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to come down and Freestyle has its own set of modifiers. And if we come down here and we set a distance from camera, now to get this to work properly, you're gonna have to set the minimum and the maximum range. Uh, for the effect to take place. This will set the range from, you know, where it starts rendering and where it stops. And um, you could set these manually. However, it's much easier just to use a selection. I'm going to select the front of this object and then select the back. And now I'm going to hit fill range by selection. And now it's entered in those values automatically. Um, now I've found that, um, you know, this low range is usually a little high it's a little, you know it usually starts a little far from the camera so i'm going to go ahead and lower that down and uh you know i'll just maybe put it in half or so and now let's go ahead and render again all right and so now you can see that we uh you know have a fairly faint uh wire from up here toward the front and then it fades off you know and then gets stronger here toward the back. Now, we could also do the same thing with color. We could set the color to be one color at one side and a different color on the other side uh, with the same method using a, you know, a gradient on the color uh, tab. Now, let's just say that uh, for whatever reason you didn't want, you know, some of these objects to render with wireframes, like you didn't want these little bolts to render with wireframes. What we could do here is just select those objects and then tab over into um, edit mode again. Hit the number two key to go into edge mode and then go ahead and select all of those edges. And then I'm going to right click and say clear freestyle edge. And now we go ahead and render. And so now you can see that we've excluded those bolts from being rendered in the wireframe render.